Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and real quick, let's go ahead and generate that soundtrack choice. So on a scale of one to three, we get piano solos. All right, that seems to be coming up a lot lately. All right. So, what are we going to be doing today? Well, I have a list of all sorts of different... Yeah, this seems like a horrible idea. <clears throat> Alright, I've got a list of all sorts of different... Of different... Of different viewer-suggested runs that I can do. This particular one... I'm not gonna lie, I really think I'm going to fail this one. If I'm wrong, cool, I would prefer to be wrong, but this does not look like the type of run that I would that I would go for. I mean, if I'm gonna use Mystic Monopole at all, it seems like it would be best used to hand to hand to handle the ultra combo build. So that way you can just focus on smashing your enemies over and over again. And even then, you don't really want to negate all your knockback just because you, just because of the idea that ultra combo kind of relies on <clears throat> kind of relies on the enemies being pushed and pulled a little bit, kind of the push me pull you sort of thing. Also, I really can't stand toxic trap. This is more so made to keep enemies away from you, and I don't know. I'm it's very obvious that we've got to sort of like make a kind of circular attack thing going on here. But I don't know. I'm looking at this going, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I get the feeling that this is going to be painful. Now that having been said, since knockback is going to be at a kind of minimum... I would like to, at the very least, have the option to not have to deal with the pits myself. And of course, it's going to take for freaking ever to get that to happen, because I know my luck. And even the rope choice is one that I don't really tend to use. There's Makeshift Bridge. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Fire, water, electricity. Okay. So obviously this comes awesome. Look at that. look at how we start. Sweet, that was a Now I see the idea, but not gonna lie, I'm this isn't this is not my style. But the obvious idea is keep keep your enemies trapped in one spot while you keep using things that normally push them away from you, but they won't do that because of Mystic Mono. Now, as, as per usual, when I get really awkward fucking runs like this, this is coming to us from a non-misfit, and... I've said many times how a lot of his builds don't tend to... don't tend to jive with my style, and this one is definitely one of those. I play a I play a very aggressive game, a game of stomp the enemy. And working working with this sort of like 
damage over time kind of semi-poison focus thing. Eh. It's not for me. It's not for me, son. It's not for me. Alright, so... Do Amulet of Sundering or the Sparking Sprite. I would prefer to be able to afford both. And affording both is going to take 275 coins. Can I make that sort of capital? The honest answer is I have... Definitely take Crimson Clover. Because you always want you always want more critical chance. Go back and pick up Etra, and we'll call that good. Move on to the next floor. So, Dark Sage, how come you don't like dealing with poison all that much? Okay, so poison I've noticed is very powerful when the enemies use it against you. It is unfortunately not really all that useful when you use it yourself. The damage over time ticks up a little bit too slowly to really be all that useful. And it just it just doesn't do enough to really be worthwhile. It can occasionally stagger enemies out of their attacks, and that's all well and good. I have no problem with that. It's just how slowly poison damage ticks up, so it's rarely ever a good idea to rely on that or wait for it. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of people who disagree with me on that. I know a non-misfit is one of them. But, I mean, I've tried running an all-poison build before, and just... First of all, poison doesn't work against Sura at all. So it just comes off as an incredible waste to make it up to one of the people that you would want poison to work against the most, and then come to find, oh yeah, it does nothing. But then, as I said, it just it, the damage ticks up too slowly for it to really be all that effective. Again, against most uh, most other enemies, most of the mooks in the game. Just... Like, if you play a def if you play even a moderately aggressive game, they're going to be dead well before poison has a chance to really do any significant damage or make you any significant gains. And you may be listening to that going, Dark Sage, you uneducated pleb, to which I would respond, yeah, how many hours in this game do you have? But no, see, on a more serious note, no, I don't, I don't... It's not about being educated or uneducated. You can pretty much do the math for yourself. But again, I know that at least amongst my audience, I am in the minority on that, so... I don't know, maybe I'm the one with the problem. But no, I just don't think poison is all that useful. 
So, let's grab the birds. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're grabbing you. And because of the... So here, we're going to do this. And then we'll go back and get the upgrade of this. And what is the upgrade? Flames last longer. Yay. Hello, dice. I mean, I'm certainly not going to give a welcome hello to the uh, dice that made Battlefield 2042. They don't deserve it. And some of you may may think that I'm being a little unreasonable, unreasonable with that assertion. But I mean, honestly, look at the look at the job they did with that fucking game. Definitely not taking that. That plus Mystic Monopole just seems like um it just seems like all the more reason for the for you to just fail a run, so no thank you. Oh come on, die already. There is no reason for you to be standing around with with that with that much defiance of my will. Ah, stupid sensitive D-pad. Ah, Christ. Alright. Gotta deal with you first, otherwise I'm not getting out of this room. And no, that is not an exaggeration. I know, I know how much damage those guys can do, and and what they and what they're capable of. of the Nemesis kicked in. <laughs> so, since I'm kind of getting up on my shoebox, or, or I guess soapbox is the more appropriate word, and talking about things in this game that I don't like, why don't you guys... Tell me some of the things about the, some of the things about this game that you don't like. I'm not necessarily talking about like you know game design or anything. I'm talking about what sorts of what sorts of builds or systems in this game just don't work for you, and you know why. I've already gone and gone over pretty good detail about why I don't really do much with poison.
Oh, hey, look who it is. Welcome back, buddy. I don't really have anything I want to give you. Not yet. I know, I was just complaining about Mystic Monopole, too, but I figure if I'm going to be pushed into using it, then I may, I may as well put it... I may as well make the most out of it. Because one thing Mystic Monopole is good at is making sure that you... Making sure that you can do long, long combo strings, which I think is its intended purpose. Alright, I'm gonna grab that. There's really nothing here I want. I mean, Destructive Abacus could be useful. I may end up grabbing that, but I would rather save my... Hey, you really gotta go away. Yeah, we'll go grab it. Because having more uptime on our spells also contributes to our DPS. And hey, if I'm lucky, maybe I won't take 243 damage on this next floor. So right now this run is being won in no, at least at the moment, in no small part to the idea that we're just comboing like mad. But I mean, I can do that without Mystic Monopole. Just requires the use of a very specific build. I guess it's not even that specific. I don't know, I've talked about it a few times, maybe you guys know what I'm talking about, the Ultra Combo build. Works really well with a strong critical hit setup. Ugh, of course, I would get hit by the mimic. Took a nice chunk of health off of me. Now hopefully you guys have been doing well lately. I must say, even though I'm not getting as many days off at my new job as I would like, I'm very much enjoying my new job. I feel like I'm more appreciated there than I ever was at any of my previous three jobs. But as as I had alluded to a while ago, it is it is definitely leaving me with less free time than I would like. So you know, less less time to work on some of the big projects that I was like. I think in the long run, that's still okay. I'm certainly not going to complain. Uh, grab strongman's hammer. Gonna get that slow damage creep. And we'll definitely buy that. The good, the good doctor can hopefully help us out. I get the feeling I'm going to need that help.
There we go. Alright. Don't care about any of that. Don't care about any of that. No. I think we're solid. I'm just gonna head out. You can probably hear me moving around in my chair. As per usual, I need to keep shifting in order to keep myself comfy. Mm. Well, fuck me. Well, a couple of mistakes later, and we're down, down a little over 100 health on that one. 125 damage taken. Ugh. Come on, brain, we gotta do better than that. Can't be letting them do that kind of damage to us. Alright, there's the end, so it gives us a nice little central hub when we find the other stuff. Ow! Alright, getting awfully tired of getting blindsided by anything. Alright, Dice of the Nemesis is definitely helping out. So I've got I you gave so Anon, you gave me a lot of stuff that I should try to avoid when doing this run, but I gotta ask, why would I'm curious as to why I would avoid something. Like, why should I not bother picking up signature charge rate on? on this build. Seems like... Seems like just a little bit of extra signature charge rate would allow, would allow me to use more ha more power hammers, and that would add up nicely. But this is your build, you probably know something about it that I don't. Okay, can we not... Oh, look at that. The game just decided that I didn't get to attack. And I don't know why, because the <clears throat> the enemy that killed me was in constant hit stun. But yeah, just just yeah, no. Rogues get to kill you. Alright. Well, definitely definitely not a huge fan of this one, so I'll I may come back to it again at another time, but yeah, your your build beat me, but not not because it was too hard, just because of stupid rogue bullshit as per usual. <clears throat> you know, them not reacting to being stunned at all. They're just like, nope, you just keep taking damage. Admittedly, I'm a little salty and a little angry, but you know, you can have this one. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm gonna go continue doing my laundry now, so. You guys take care. Remember, if you're liking what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe. It all helps me out a great deal. Helps me out with the with the metrics and helps my videos get seen by others who may not know about them. And 
I will catch you guys next time. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.